What do the USS Midway, Montana's Big Sky, and I have in common? Shall we serve it up? Let's do it. Movable feast with Fine Cooking Magazine. This year we bring you a whole new season of amazing landscapes, mouth-watering feasts, and incredible journeys across the US. I'm together. excited to eat today. <laughs> On the East Coast, we start in Maryland. These are feisty guys. And get introduced to the fabulous Chesapeake Blue Crab. When you're cracking your crabs and you're eating them, you have all of that on your fingers, and that's where you're gonna get all that flavor. Beautiful. Then make a quick stop in DC. Lots of lemon, lots of olive oil, lots of love. For a Greek themed meal. This is old school cooking, isn't it? Old world. No wonder everyone loves the Greeks. <laughs> uh, well, I hate to tell you this, but I'm not Greek, I'm actually Italian. <laughs> From a beach in Topping, Virginia, a rooftop in Durham, North Carolina. Try a clam for the first time. The first life. clam? Wow. That's what a clam tastes like? <laughs> we travel the back roads in search of fresh local ingredients. It's a big reach. Oh, yeah. I've never seen a vegetable farm that equals this in beauty in my life. So, Joe, we hear Katie's the boss. Yeah, that's, that's true. Good man, right? <laughs> We've got beer, clam, and chorizo pasta. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Mike Larder takes us to the bayous of South Carolina. Shrimps on the menu. Shrimps on the menu. Woo! And introduces us to Atlantic freshwater shrimp. The meat is incredibly sweet. And the competition for these little beauties is fierce. Yeah, the birds are conditioned. They know what's going on. Then we head west to visit with fellow Aussie and my good mate, Curtis Stone. Look, I think LA it was sort of always about the scene. <laughs> and now it's a good place to come and eat. And to San Diego, where we board the USS Midway with Chef Brian Malarkey. Ladies and gentlemen, bon appetit. Then it's the big reveal with Outstanding in the Field. Is this the biggest piece of meat you've ever cooked? Yeah where we put on a feast for 100 plus hungry people. Yeah. We're popping up in the Redwood Forest. I've had the